you know, I know that the horse from California that uh, beat him last time is a really nice horse. And uh, so I knew it was under me today, and it was just, uh, it was it was fun to fun to have the right. Obviously, the, the Asmus and Bayes connection uh, strong again here, right? Oh, it's been great. You know, Steve's given me an opportunity, and uh, I'm just enjoying being here, and I love Kentucky and uh, having fun doing it. Do you feel like this horse would have a good chance to go on to the Iroquois? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't train him. I just, uh, <laughs> I ride him and, you know, wherever Steve wants to run him, if I get to ride him back, great. If not, you know, he's got a bright future, so I'll, uh, I'll definitely be watching him. Did you feel like you had it in control the whole way around there? Yeah, I did. I was actually worried about the two horse, or, yeah, I think it was the two horse a little bit, uh, but pretty much the horse, he, he was running easy the whole way, and I just shook him up a little top of the lane, keep his mind on business, and uh, he's a very nice colt quite a difference from a week ago when you get unseated at the start of the days get a little banged up and then you've been in about five different time zones since then huh I've been doing a lot of traveling a lot of riding and uh, I'm just enjoying my time right now you know and uh, given given the opportunities everybody's given me it's just been wonderful and like I said I love it here in Kentucky and uh, Ellis Park's been great to me and having a great time it's uh, cool to win that same race three times same owners um, you know, they're always very supporting of Steve, and we've won a lot of races with them. This horse coming from Churchill, shipped in nice, schooled good. You know, Steve said keep him quiet, and, uh, you know, obviously showed what he is today.